If I ask you which is the best electric scooter currently on sale in India, well, big fat chances are that your answer would be the Aether 450. Well, that has been the approach of the Bengaluru-based startup right from the beginning. The approach to deliver world-class electric scooters. The 450 has been developed from ground up and it essentially kick-started the premium electric scooter segment in India. And then came the improved versions, namely the 450 Plus and the 450X that are currently on sale in India. Now, very recently, Aether Energy moved its manufacturing facility from Whitefield to a swanking new 1,23,000 square feet factory in Hosur, Tamil Nadu. The new factory is not only responsible for making electric scooters, but it also makes lithium-ion batteries, which is a key area of focus for the brand in the coming years. So today, we are in this new Aether Energy's factory to witness what all goes into the making of one of India's finest electric scooters and to explain you the exact manufacturing process of the same. So, stay tuned. Aether's new Hosur factory kick-started operations with the onset of the year 2021. The new manufacturing facility has an annual capacity of 1,10,000 electric scooters and 1,20,000 lithium-ion battery packs. Moreover, with its aggressive expansion plans, if Aether Energy sees the substantially rising demand for its electric scooters in future, well, it is ready for that as well as the new factory is scalable by three times which means the annual production capacity at this facility can be rammed up to 4 to 5 lakh units. Now talking of Aether electric scooters, these are currently 90% localized and the battery cells is the only component that the company is currently importing with everything else being made in India. These cells are housed in a water resistant IP67 rated battery pack and this is done in a separate assembly unit within the factory. There is also a dedicated storage area inside the factory where the raw material is stored. The creation of the Aether 450X and the 450 Plus electric scooters takes place on a 37 station assembly line and it takes almost 148 minutes to assemble one scooter. And each vehicle stops at a station for around 4 minutes. First, the one of its kind cast aluminium chassis and a rear subframe are combined together after which some key components like battery pack and electric motor are bolted and a basic skeleton is made. After this, as the scooter progresses on the assembly line, other components like wheels, suspension and brakes are fitted. Following this is the fitment of touchscreen dashboard, lights and body panels after which the scooter proceeds towards the final stations on the assembly line. After a rigorous quality check, one scooter rolls off the production line every 4 minutes, after which it heads for dyno testing. During this, the performance of the scooter is evaluated. And then finally, the scooter goes out for final real-world testing, after which it gets ready for delivery. With the new factory, Aether Energy has multiplied its production by almost 10 times and hence the waiting period for the company's electric scooters should come down very soon. When Aether Energy launched the 450 electric scooter in India for the very first time, it was so confident about the styling of this scooter that it actually launched this scooter in a single color option, which is this white color option with green highlights. And later on, as the demand increased, the company decided to add more color options. And as you can see, this white color option continues to be on sale. And uh, apart from that, you get this very striking looking, very bold looking uh, grey colour option and if you ask us, this is our personal favourite from the lot. With this grey colour option, what you get is uh, yellow coloured accents. You can see yellow coloured pinstripes are there. The chassis has also been painted in yellow and on the rear side panels, there is a yellow stickering as well with the Aether branding. Moving on to the next colour option, this one is also a very unique looking color option. This one, you know, stands out and this one is called mint green. And with this mint green color option, you get orange highlights. And last but definitely not the least is this 
Aether Series 1 Collector's Edition. And uh, if you're thinking to buy this, sadly you can't do that as of now, but this scooter has already been sold out and it is actually for the initial customers of the Aether 450X. For those customers who actually booked the scooter even before the company announced the pricing and specs of the 450X, well, the company is offering this collector's edition to such customers as a token of appreciation for the simple reason that such customers have shown loyalty to the brand. The biggest design highlight of this Series 1 collector's edition is the translucent panel it gets at the rear. So basically, you can see, you know, the chassis of the scooter from the outside only, which looks quite great. And in our opinion, this Series 1 collector's edition is absolutely striking and the translucent body panel feature is something that is seen on a production two-wheeler for the very first time. The new Aether factory currently has over 350 employees, while around 300 people work separately in the R&D division. The state-of-the-art facility has been set up with an investment of 130 crore rupees and as per the brand, an additional 635 crores will be invested over the next five years, during which over 4,000 employees will be trained as well. Aether's new factory is built on Industry 4.0 principles and the company is also working towards making it smart by authorizing smart algorithms to read collected data and make meaningful interpretations. As a part of its Pan India expansion plans, Aether Energy recently opened experience centers in Ahmedabad, Pune and Hyderabad and is looking to be present in as many as 40 countries across India by the end of this year. So that was all about the manufacturing process of Aether electric scooters and that was all about the company's new Hosur production facility. From making one scooter in nine days to currently producing 9,200 units a month, Aether Energy has come a long, really long way when it comes to vehicle manufacturing. The demand for the company's scooters is quite overwhelming in the market and this new factory will certainly help the company meet the increasing demand. Also, it actually feels great to see an Indian manufacturer coming this far in the EV two-wheeler space and working dedicatedly in this direction while taking the Make in India mantra very, very seriously. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. It sound right, boy.